Alta Pelta Kumsai Slashi Unregistered Trademark Eol ITE Micron Epilt Unregistered Trademark E Cautiumsai Slash is an herbivorous Ankylosaurian Ornithian dinosaur that during the late Cretaceous lived in the area of what is now Southern California. Discovery and naming, in 1987, construction work was done on the College Boulevard near Carlsbad at the Californian coast. In the letterbox canyon between El Camino Real and Palomar Airport Road, northwest of McLellana Euro Palomar Airport, the road was widened. While paleontologically surveying the work, Bradford Riney noted that a skeleton had been uncovered by a ditch dug for a sewage pipe. Within days, it was secured by the San Diego Natural History Museum. In 1988, the find was reported by Thomas Demmer Copyright Ra Copyright. The discovery drew much attention because it was the first important ankylosaurian fossil known from the area. It was dubbed the Carlsbad ankylosaur. In 1996, the fossil was described but not named by Demmer Copyright Ra Copyright and Walter Preston Coombs. In 2001, the type species Alta Pelta Coombsi was named by Tracy Lee Ford and James Kirkland. Etymologically, the generic name is composed of the Greek terms a one-quarter euro AI registered trademark III, alets, and I euro AII, pelt, meaning respectively wanderer, and small shield. This genus name was suggested by Ben Kreisler because the fossil location, at the time the dinosaur died, being located on the tectonic plate containing the peninsula ranges terrain, was somewhere opposite the middle of Mexico. This plate had thus been wandering northward since, carrying the specimen with it. The specific epithet honors the vertebrate paleontologist Walter Preston Coombs, J.R., for his groundbreaking work on ankylosaurs and his years of research, which have inspired many an enthusiast as well as professional paleontologist. Fossils Alta Pelta is known from a single partial skeleton lacking the skull, holotype SDNHM 33909, part of the collection of the San Diego Natural History Museum, San Diego, California. The skeleton including femora, tibiae, fibulae and incomplete parts of a scapula, humerus, ulna, left and right ilium, vertebrae, ribs, partial armor over the pelvic girdle, a servable halfling plus at least 60 detached armor plates and eight teeth was found in a layer of the late Cretaceous Marine Point Loma Formation, dating from the late Campanian, in 2001 estimated at 75.5 million years old. Apparently, the animal's bloated carcass floated out to sea, and formed a miniature reef environment after it sunk to the bottom, landing on its back, as testified by Pelcipoda attaching to the bones. The remains were scavenged by sharks. Most long bones have lost their joint surfaces and were hollowed out. As a result the condition of the skeletal elements is poor. Description: Alta Pelta is a medium-sized ankylosaurid, originally estimated to be around 6 meters long. In 2010, Gregory S. Paul estimated its length at 5 meters, its weight at 2 tons. Due to the damaged state of the holotype bones, it is difficult to determine distinguishing traits. In 2004, Matthew Vicarious each therefore considered Alta Pelta to be a nomen dubium. Phylogeny, Alta Pelta is diagnosed as an ankylosaurid mainly based on the shape and arrangement of its osteoderm armor, which is closer in form to ankylosaurids than to nodosaurids. See also, Timeline of Ankylosaur Research. References. External links. Alta Pelta at Dino Data